My hair is bougie. I'm just saying, Missy Palo is bougie, y'all. Hey guys, we are back and we're about to have a deep condition deep talk because um, I wanted to address a lot of you guys' comments on like a couple of videos ago about me not using Eco Styler anymore. So first of all, let me show you guys what I have been. This is a deep protein treatment. This is the Okra Hair Repair Reconstructive Conditioner. This is how it looks. Afterwards, you'll see a review of this, but I actually wanted to show you um, when it comes to reconstructive or protein treatments, it's better to, I like to show you guys the results after than before because I mean I guess I could do before and afters but really you're gonna be able to tell with a good protein conditioner with clumpage and everything so you can see that my curls are formed it's supposed to strengthen the hair cuticle which is supposed to really smooth it so that's the reason why you look for clumpage or you look for defi definition when it comes to a real good reconstructive or a real good protein treatment this one gently reconstructs, so it restore, restores the hair and it has okra extract and ceramides. Okay, so this is my project pan in terms of my hair products and I'm done with the Belle Nouveau. We're gonna do condition with these two. I've done a, this is like my spa at home. It's Memorial Day, so I'm gonna use these. So first I'm gonna part my hair, but okay. So, I saw a lot of you guys talking about, um, which some people have valid points and then other people, like, just judging in the comments, which, you know, you just, there's just certain people that's just going to do that. And I'm just not one of those people that's going to judge because <clears throat> my whole point of doing that, re that video was to be, I uh, just wanted people to be aware if you had the symptoms of like watery eyes, itchy scalp, no product really should be doing that to you, whether it's a relaxer or a natural hair product. Now, before... I was in love with Eco Styler. I was using it. I did not have those. I didn't have those like symptoms. I didn't have those reactions to my hair. So that's why I continued because I was not like a natural Nazi. I wasn't coming after people with like certain ingredients. The reason why I started off with I started off with a few ingredients, but I just noticed once I started using products that I actually could understand what the ingredients were, my hair just flourished and it react. I mean, I have videos on how my hair looked and I can tell the difference and you all can tell the difference. So the reason why I said I was just going to go back to the, and scratch it and go back to the beginning is because I had a experience. I had a baby, my hair fell out and it was like worse. And I believe it had to do with not only some of the ingredients because I was not using the ones that were as natural as others. And I feel like, you know, you pay the price when you use products that are really, really good for your hair. That's just me. My hair does not grow as fast as everyone's. But at the same time, my hair does grow at a rapid rate. When I had a relaxer, when I was straightening my hair and going without manipulating it, it grew. That was just that it grew a lot. And I just noticed with the Eco Styler, and I wasn't, you know, Eco Styler, I know is a lot of you all's die hard product. It's not mine. And I was using it at, at some point, at one point I was using it nonstop and that was because when I was testing it, it was good, but I was getting, <clears throat> it wasn't really the, um, the, like the Eco Styler olive oil, it was the coconut and the flat, the last two, the Eco Styler flaxseed, I don't even know, I think they came out with something newer than the ones that I'm talking about. But the coconut, those were extremely strong and I, I thought it was something else and I kind of ignored the fact that every time I used that, I got that strong scent and my 
scalp itched. And I thought it was because, you know, coconut oil automatically makes your hair itch. Um, if you're protein sensitive, but I'm not protein sensitive. So I was like, why am I having this issue? I was like, well, maybe it's too strong for my hair in terms of what's in it in terms of um, the coconut oil. But it did it with the flaxseed. So my reasons for like not using Eco Styler anymore is not the reasons why other people may not. Like because if it wasn't for the itchiness, if it wasn't for the... Um, Mine is more so the reaction I got because I'm not one that's going to, and I, I got the, some someone said, and it's the truth, if you're planning on just like ditching Eco Styler, there are so many other products, there's so many other products like cleaning, toothpaste, toothbrush, so <clears throat> that contain those ingredients, so you might as well do a lifestyle change. I'll let you know right now, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but the whole reason why it was, y'all know I always talk about how glycerin is the devil, okay? Glycerin is not the devil, okay? That is a, you know, that is a metaphor that I use because my hair doesn't like glycerin. Well, my hair doesn't obviously like these other ingredients either, and that was the whole reason why I said that. Can I find other products that don't contain those products I'm sure I can. Yes. The whole reason why I was talking about it, you know, it makes me look at my makeup is because there are products that react to our skin that sometimes we tend to ignore, you know. And my whole thing is like when your body tells you that it doesn't like it or whatever, just listen to it. Um, I like I said, I was. Uh, on a relaxer but I actually have friends here on YouTube that have relaxers am I gonna come after them no because some people's hair you know my sister her daughter has a relaxer am I gonna come after her no like that is not my job that's not my duty that's not who I am I used to wear have a relaxer I had my reasons I had a short pixie cut and I wanted my hair to be straight and laid obviously y'all see my hair is like coily curly there would be no way I could get it bone straight the way that I wanted to wear it like pixie if I didn't have a relaxer so people have their different reasons um, I stopped using relaxer because relaxers were way too strong for my hair and no matter how weak um, I mean I just I wanted like to see actually how my hair grew out of my scalp and I had my reasons. There are other people that's like, listen, I just don't want to deal with it. Do you, boo-boo? I'm not that type of person. I'm not going to come for people. I just wanted um, you all to be, if you're having these issues, just like glycerin. When I talked about glycerin, I turn over the ingredients. I turn over the bottle and see what the ingredients are. I, the whole reason why I was talking about ingredient awareness is that if, in fact, you get itchy scalp, in fact, if you get... A, if your hair tends to have problems just to be aware of those ingredients the next time you purchase a product it may give you the same reaction that was the whole point of me saying that but am I gonna come for people because um, you know they did not dump their eco styler a lot of you all said that you know what I'm not dumping eco styler eco styler is my boo am I gonna do it no I don't want you, you know, look, if that is, if your hair is thriving on something, hey, I'm not telling you to, to change those things. I'm not going to tell anybody to change those things. My thing was more so, and it wasn't the ingredients. As a matter of fact, Eco Styler was one of the mainstream gels that I used when I started, when I started. I had no problems. I was like, well, maybe they've changed their ingredients and or the concentration. Okay, so where was I? Because Elijah was finishing something. Okay. All I was saying, just like glycerin, is if you're experiencing, like, just like glycerin does not work for my hair because it causes it to dry out even faster, which causes breakage. Uh, I can use some doses of it. 
I just decided that I was canceling Eco Styler because number one, wash and goes. I've been, you know, in the I've been wearing a lot of wash and goes and honestly, I can wear them, but my hair does not like them in terms of my hair flourishing. And right now, I want to experience some hair growth because because after having a baby and your edges being gone, it does something to you. I mean, it did something to me. I mean, when I say it did something to you, I mean me. Okay. But um all I'm saying is, you know, be nice in the comments. Like, certain people can take stuff. I can take stuff. But, like, I just think that coming for people about whether they're going to keep using. This was whole, this, this whole exercise, this whole, that whole video was about me being aware of what I was putting in my hair again. And if I wanted my hair to flourish, you know. And this was... This was a conversation, unscripted, unscripted, unedited, really. Um, and when I say really, it's because I don't know if y'all noticed that I have a stutter problem. And a lot of my editing is because of the stuttering. And I don't want to be repetitive. So I don't cut out any of the verbiage or change anything in terms of what I said. I still stick behind what I said and the reason why my editing is a little bit different is because of the stuttering and the repetitiveness and it would get on y'all nerves okay I'm not sure if I get on some of you all nerves you probably pro I probably do but I have a stuttering problem and it doesn't stop me from making videos okay I have the courage to say that um, some people in my immediate family have issues with speech so hey I overcome it teaching my children to overcome it y'all all in all I don't edit my videos I just I'm telling y'all I just become repetitive let me stop right now so I don't become repetitive and you all change but anyway I know this is getting lengthy but I wanted to do a deep condition deep talk and this is kind of like a response to the video as to why I ditched Eco Styler, it was because of the symptoms, you guys. It was because of, yes, it was because of the ingredients, but those ingredients were causing itchiness. It was causing my hair to break and dry out, and I could not figure why, and it was like, aha, that's the epiphany. I'm not the only one. When I watched Brie Hall's video, I was like, I'm not the only one that's dealing with this and I thought it was me I didn't think it was the eco styler because I had been using it so long maybe they changed even the concentration of because that is a big deal too because eco styler green does not do what eco styler coconut or the black castor and flaxseed oil did so that's all I have to say I'm not coming for people that want to continue because hey if that's what your hair loves, that is your OG, you've never had a reaction, then who am I to tell you to change? For those of you that ditched it because, you know, and I say this, always have a reason why you're doing something. Just don't do it because everybody else is doing it. I you I started with Eco Styler because that was the mainstream when I came on here and I didn't know anything about ingredients. I was doing it because, y'all, Eco Styler had always been the OG. It worked well for my hair. Even with the glycerin being in it, it wasn't the perfect gel that I used for wash and goes, but there was a time when I was trying to find inexpensive things to test for you all, but my hair paid the price. I'm just saying it. It paid the price. And I can tell when I use good ingredients. My hair is bougie. I'm just saying, Missy Pelo is bougie, y'all. That's all I'm going to say. She bougie. She likes expensive. Um, and some things don't have to be necessarily all expensive. So when I find a good product, you know, Garnier, the Garnier uh, leave-in conditioner is not inexpensive. Does it have bad ingredients that y'all are going to probably find in it? Probably. Am I going to stop using it? No. Why? Because I did not get the reaction that I did with that gel. And I'm serious. I got watery eyes, itchiness, and I'm just saying, you know, like I've seen a lot of people say, you know, do your research. 
my research was the reaction that I got, okay? I already have hair issues and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to continue something that's going to give me watery eyes and an itchy scalp. And that are, that's in itself is not good. And I have a lot of other products that don't give me that reaction. That was the whole reason why I ditched the Eco Solid because I was like, sister needs to start over and I need to get my hair life back together. And I know starting off with things that my hair understands those are the things that work for my hair. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I know you're going to tell me anyway, but I'd love to hear from you all. I'd love to hear, you know, your thoughts. We had a great discussion. Some people came for people, but you know what? Hey, you know, I'm not going to shut off the comments. Just be, please be respectful. This is a conversation. This is deep condition, deep talk. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like videos like this. I actually really enjoyed coming back and discussing this with you guys and deep conditioning and my hair looks good. And are these expensive? Yes, but I like putting good ingredients and like I said, some stuff does not have to break the bank, but my hair is bougie. For the most part, it loves great, great ingredients. And y'all know I have been known to show you guys inexpensive stuff, but a lot of my products are luxury hair and Eco Styler, I guess, just didn't, it's, it's an inexpensive product that I got what I paid for. Let me just put it like that. On my hair. Y'all know I have fine, thin, high porosity hair if you didn't know that. But that's how my hair reacted to those products. My hair likes bougie products, so I guess. I don't know. Thanks so much for watching, you all. And if you want another deep condition, deep talk, let's put it down in the comments. Put some topics that you want me to talk about down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, love.